Hey guys, I'm talking about episode 41 right now, and there's a, and there's only five in this episode. So what I what really caught my eye is actually the leadership styles of Kimberly and of Edward. But yeah. So Kimberly is actually a ruthless guy. There's no way around it. He's the soldier archetype. He's gonna use every single resource he can to defeat someone, defeat people. He's gonna even use his allies, he's ruthless. And he's very ruthless with his allies, he doesn't accept any flaw in anyone, and he's just, he's just going. And that has its advantages and that has its disadvantages, of course. That's good because when he's one on one, he's fighting people. He he's gonna do things that other people don't expect because other people are moral and he's insane. He's a psychopath. In a war, that's very good. You know, you need people that are like that that are going to the extreme to kill other people and win and be the best killer and the best war they can. Meanwhile, you know, in real life, that's kind of bad because dude, nobody likes being around psychopaths so much so that Kimberly is the perfect example of it. People don't want to be around him. People don't want to be close to him, be, be connected to him. And it, even he doesn't want to be connected to other people because he kind of recognizes, you know, he is who he is. There's no way around it. Meanwhile, Edward. Why is this thing so cool? Because... Edward in this scene is actually saving his enemies so his enemies can save him, which is very compassionate. Edward is a leader, you know, in a way. Uh, but he, also, he, he actually has his compassion and he has his moral limits. He's a normal guy. And that also has its advantages and disadvantages. The clear advantage there is that people want to be around him. Edward starts the anime with only his brother and he ends with a whole gang of people just around him trying to get reach the same goal he, he has. And he inspires people and he's a cool dude. There, there's no way around it. Meanwhile, if you think about it, in this fight in particular with Kimberly, because Kimberly knows Edward has compassion and he's a normal human being and one of Edward's limits is that he he won't kill. Kimberly kind of used that to his, his advantage and Kimberly almost kills Edward. Of course, he doesn't know that Edward survived the fall later on and he got saved, but Kimberly won the fight. So the compassion and the moral compass has its disadvantages and mostly has advantages. Again, Kimberly is the ideal archetype to extreme situations like war, and he's very good alone. Meanwhile, Edward is the more ideal archetype to the common folk, to people just normal, that are in normal society. And in a group, depending on your objectives, you need a lot of Edwards and some Kimberleys. Because sometimes you just need some people to do their dirty work. There's no way around it. Every society has that. You know, and I'm kind of remembering right now, the, when we had the Western movies, of course, the, the lone wolf that gets to town and does the dirty work, they are the, the archetype of Kimberly in this case. So Kimberly is, is a villain, but in a weird way, is actually also a hero to some movies and some situations. So again, it goes back to nuance. It depends on the situation and the context, which makes the world really cool and really fascinating and makes this anime really amazing, really fascinating. Thank you guys very much. See you guys next time. And I mean, this is Edward, almost dead, and the guys just loving him and deciding to help him. Thank you guys very much. If you guys like the like the video, like hit the like button. If you guys like the channel, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.